Hello students. Today we learn about the design procedure for journal bearing. The following procedure may be adopted in designing the journal bearings. When the bearing load, the diameter and the speed of the shaft are known, then follow the following steps. First step is determine the bearing length by choosing a ratio of L by D that is length of bearing divided by diameter of the journal from the standard available data. If we see the standard table from this book, if we consider the machinery for example application is automobile and aircraft engines. Bearing is main bearing, maximum bearing pressure we consider as 5.6 to 12 Newton per mm square. Absolute viscosity Z it becomes 0.007, Zn by P this becomes 2.1, C by D is dash, L by D is 0 0.8 to 1.8. So if we, our application is for automobile purpose then select L by D ratio as between 0 0.8 to 1.8. Step second, check the bearing pressure that is P is equal to W divided by L into D from standard table for probable satisfactory value. This pressure uh, uh, is also checked again from the same table which I already shown this table. So, so from uh, for our application is automobile main bearing then uh, check the bear, ma maximum bearing pressure becomes 5.6 to 12 Newton per mm square. Step third, <clears throat> now as, uh, step third becomes assume a lubricant from standard table and its operating temperature that is TO. This temperature should be between 26.5 degrees Celsius and 16, 60 degrees Celsius with 82 degrees Celsius as a maximum for high temperature installations such as steam turbines. For that purpose, if we see again one more standard table so this is the table for lubricating oil so this is types of oils SA10, SA20 up to SA70 is the type of oil here absolute viscosity in kilogram per meter second at temperature in degree Celsius is given if we consider our temperature is 30 degree Celsius and our lubricating oil becomes SA10 then select absolute viscosity at 0 0.05 kilogram per meter second. If we consider the temperature becomes 60 degree Celsius and lubricating oil becomes uh, SA30 so see uh, absolute viscosity becomes 0 0.034 kilogram per meter sec second. So in this way we read this table. Now uh, next step is step 4. So determine the operating value of Zn by P for the assumed bearing temperature and check this value with corresponding value in standard table. Again follow the same table that is first table we already shown. Follow that same table to determine the possibility of maintaining fluid film operation. So if we observe again same table which is already shown. So uh, if we can, our application is automobile, uh, then bearing is main bearing and Zn by P for this purpose becomes 2.1 uh, Newton per mm square. Uh, sorry, uh, 2.1. Uh, this Zn by P becomes kilogram. Uh, here Z is in kilogram per meter second and P is in Newton per mm square. Step fifth. Assume a clearance ratio that is C by D from standard table again follow the same table where C is diameter clearance and D is diameter of the journal. Step 6 is determine the coefficient of friction mu by using this equation which we already discussed previously that is mu is equal to 33 upon 10 raised to 8 into bracket Zn upon P then into D upon C plus K. Now 
step 7 becomes determine the heat generated by using the relation that is qg is equal to mu into w into v where mu is the coefficient of friction w is the load on the bearing in newton v is the rubbing velocity in meters per second if we want to calculate v then use the relation pi into d into n upon 60 where we substitute d is in meters n is speed of the journal in rpm and uh, next step is step 8 that is determine the heat dissipated by using the relation qd is equal to uh, c into a into bracket tb minus ta uh, this is in joules per second or in watt where c is heat dissipation coefficient in watt per meter square per degree celsius a is the projected area of the bearing in meter square uh, here a is l that is length of bearing into diameter d then tb is equal to temperature of the bearing surface in degree celsius ta is temperature of the surrounding air in degree celsius and uh, the last step becomes step uh, number nine that is determine the thermal equilibrium to see that the heat dissipated becomes at least equal to the heat generated in case the heat generated is more than the heat dissipated then either the bearing is redesigned or it is artificially cooled by the water so this is the last step to check uh, whether uh, artificial coolant is required or not this is the last step and uh, in this way we finish the discussion about the design procedure for journal bearing so here we stop thank you